Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about enabling data observability in CDGC. Data observability is a new feature which is introduced in April 2024 release that analyzes historical profile data and checks for changes in various metrics and identifies anomalies from the source data. Coming to the agenda of this video, first we'll talk about the prerequisites, then we'll talk about enabling data observability in the metadata command center, then uh, we'll talk about the asset preview pane and the event page and dashboard creation, then uh, we'll show you a quick demo. Coming to the prerequisites of data observability, data observability can be enabled for any source system that supports profiling and also uh, make sure that profiling scope option is set to full and also at least three data observability runs are needed for the events to be raised. In MCC, data observability can be enabled under data profiling and data quality configuration. By default, the data observability pane is grayed out if profiling is disabled. To enable data observability, make sure you check the profiling box and then you'll have the option to enable or di disable data observability. Data observability asset preview pane. There is a separate pane called data observability in the resource overview page and after the data observability job is successful, all the open events will be displayed there. These events are grouped by severity. If you navigate to a data asset and click on data observability, all the open events related to that asset are displayed. The user will have two options to either resolve or reject the open event. If you mark the event as resolved, it will be no longer accessible. However, in case a similar anomaly is detected again, data observability will create a new instance of the event to flag that anomaly. You can reject an event if you know that it's expected, so similar events won't be flagged in the future. Dashboard widgets for data observability can also be created. The user will have options to either group the events by metrics or by severity. Now let's proceed for a quick demo. In the MCC page, go to resource configuration and go to data profiling and data quality settings. By default, if the data profiling is disabled, the data observability will be grayed out. To enable data observability, make sure that data profiling is enabled and also make sure that the profiling scope is set to full. Once the profiling has been enabled, you can enable data observability. Currently, there are no configurations available for data observability. You can also enable schedules for data observability job. After the data observability job is successfully run, you can navigate to the resource overview page and on the right side, you can view the total number of open events. These events are grouped by severity and currently we have two groups, which is normal and high. You can either click view all or data observability pane to view all the open events. This is the main data observability event page. Here we can find all the relevant details about the open events. Here we can see two pie charts. One is grouped by metric and the other one is grouped by severity. We have three metrics, which are the distant percentage metric, duplicate percentage metric and null percentage metric. You can also navigate to each open event by clicking on it. More information will be displayed regarding that event. Here, in this case, we can see that there is a null percent change for the column email. This bar graph clearly describes the percentage of nulls for the column email. We can see that there are a total of four profiling runs and in the first profiling run there are zero null percentage and in the latest profiling run we can see that the null percentage has been increased to 14.3%. 
so this event has been tagged as high severity and the user has two options he can either resolve or reject the event if the user rejects an open anomaly it will not appear in the next data observability run if the user resolves the event and it persists in the next do run as well and same anomaly will be recreated again with open status similar to null percentage we also have distinct percentage changes and duplicate percentage changes which identifies the percent change in duplicates and distinct column percentages next to create a dashboard widget for data observability go to a dashboard click on new widget and data observability provide a name for the dashboard widget and select the catalog source after the catalog source has been selected you will have two options you can either choose the type as a donut chart or as a list so if i choose a donut chart and if i want to group my events by metric click on metric and create the dashboard widget will be created for the data observability events which are grouped by metrics similarly if you want to create a list just create a new dashboard widget select the catalog source and here you can select the type as list and it will give the user an option to choose the max number of rows to display here i'll be selecting 15 and create the list view of all the open events will be created you can click view all to view all the open events and resolve or reject these events accordingly thank you for your time please use these following links to provide your feedback thank you